Hello, Under Drummer here with another helpful how-to video. Today we're going to talk about how to cut up those really long audiobook files. It doesn't have to be an audiobook, it could be any really long audio file that you want to cut up into uh, specific chapters and then export those chapters as individual tracks. You can do this really easy using Audacity, which is a free program. So I've got Audacity open here already. Now I'm going to pull in a really long audiobook. So just go to File, Open. So here it is. It's going to take a while to bring it in. Okay, gosh, there we go. That was quite a wait. So you can see this is an extremely long audio file here. I think seven hours. Zoom in here using this little magnifying glass. And look for spaces that might be chapters. It's kind of hard to tell just from looking at it what's a chapter and what's not. A better way is to go up to Analyze and use Silence Finder. That's going to look for moments of silence throughout the entire audio file. The tough part is messing with these settings until you find that perfect combination that's going to find all the chapters but not all the spaces in the actual audio file. We don't want all the spaces. So we can kind of look and see here's a large space here Here's a short space here. This is probably a chapter, and this is probably not. Chapter 1. Okay, that's a pretty long space there. We can actually look at the clock and count. 1, 2, Chapter three. 1. At least 3 seconds, probably slightly more. And most of these pauses are not 3 seconds, where the narrator is taking a breath. And I You know, half a second or a second. So let's start there. That's a good starting point. Three seconds. So back up to Analyze, Silence Finder, Minimum Duration of Silence. We're going to put it in for three seconds. It's got to at least be three seconds before Audacity will grab it and say, hey, I think this is the beginning of a chapter. Treat audio below this level as silence. I just leave this at 10. That seems to be fine. Depending on each audio file, you may have to lower that. Um, I don't think you ever want to go any higher than 10. Let's actually put zero in and see what happens. Sometimes if you put zero in, it'll find nothing. This last one here, label placement, I always leave that at zero. Zero seconds before the silence ends is where we want our label placed. Right, let's try it. Okay, that wasn't bad, about 30 seconds. You can see it's added these little nodes here, and that's everywhere it's detected what we asked it to detect, some silence. So I believe this is our chapter here. Chapter 1. That's chapter 1. So you can click on the little S, you get a text box, and type in your chapter 1. If you find that Audacity has marked or flagged some silent spaces that you don't want or aren't chapters, yes, Elliot. then you can uh, simply right-click on them and delete them. You have to right-click in the text box and choose Delete Label. So we know that's not a chapter. This here is the intro, I believe. The silent sister, veiled in white and... You can also grab them and move them where you want. So let's grab this first spacer here and move it all the way to the left and call it intro. There we go. Listening library. Okay. And then we just continue like that. We go through and say, is this a chapter here? But I guess I'm getting... No, it's not. It got that one wrong. Is this a chapter here? Poor is all you've ever been. Even if being poor... No, it's not. So hit the uh, zoom out button. And let's see if it... It looks like... You can kind of tell if there's not that many flags. It probably got the chapters correct. But if there's a lot of flags, you know that it got it wrong and you need to tweak with some of those settings. You can make this bigger here. It kind of helps to see the, the entire flag. So there's three chapters. Cursor to track end. Shift K. Well, we'll keep three chapters. Yeah, Shift K. There we go. And then delete. We need to also delete the rest of these flags. So just highlight them all. Up to chapter three. Up to the end of our audio there. And delete. We don't need this one either. Okay, so 
Here's three chapters, including the intro. This should export four tracks. So file, export audio, go down to export multiple. Some settings here. You can mess around with these. I keep this set on split files based on labels. Include audio before your first label. I don't want that, but you can check that box if you want it. Name files, use the label for the track name, and there's some other options there. Going to export to that folder. It's going to ask you for metadata tags for every single track. Okay, so there's four. So one last note on Audacity. If you've just downloaded the program, you may not have the ability to export anything in MP3 format, but it's really easy to fix when you try to export audio as MP3. It'll give you a warning. Audacity needs to file lame underscore encoder dot DLL to create MP3s. You can either browse for it on your PC, which you probably don't have it, or go to download, and it will send you to this page here with links for Windows, Macs, and Linux. If you click on the Windows link, it'll take you to another page with the lame download page. And I'll include this link in the description so you can just jump here and grab the file. It's this here, lame version 3.99.3 for Windows. Once you've got it there on your desktop, grab it, this PC, Windows C, Program Files 86 Audacity, and just paste it in here. It'll ask for permission, that's fine, hit continue. Once that's done, you can go back to Audacity and then export anything as an MP3. It'll work just fine. It's done. Let's check our desktop. So there you have it. Instead of one really long seven hour audio file, you could split it up into separate chapters. Hope this helped you out, guys. If it has, leave a like and let me know how it worked for you in the comment section. Have a great day.